nine. This is it, folks. Fatal four-way action. Oh. Neckbreaker! Ooh, what impact. Boom! Technique. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes oh. spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much too oh. down. That's what he was looking for, Michael. No trouble kicking out of that one. Too yeah. soon. I think this is the beginning of the end. Oh, incredible. Oh. Shoulders on the mat. He's got some fight left in him. Not yet. When this guy's on, look at his shoulder. I think we know what this is. A kick out, and he almost had him. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Oh, nasty impact. Oh. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's close to being done here. There are two things that are crucial for success. Well, will hinder your modeling career. Big opportunity here. He might have it. Attitude adjustment! But he's got a capital. He's got the shoulders down. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. He looks a bit off his game here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Ugh. Byron, earlier you talked about the importance of timing and being resourceful in a fatal four-way match. That reminded me of the number one contenders match we saw on Raw in April of 2017. Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, and Mickie James collided to see who would face Bailey for her Raw Women's Championship. Let's just say in the end, Miss Bliss took advantage of a situation. The five feet of fury has her masters and doctor. Oh, and what a slap. Oh, he doesn't want to be out there, not against this guy. This might be it. Oh, my. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, man, you can feel the impact. The cover. Two. Barely at two and a half. How'd he do that? Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He looks for it once again. He's struggling a bit here. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. I'm really disappointed in what we're seeing from him here tonight. Heading in. They can't walk after that attack to the back. Can he finish the job? Even better the second time around. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. He should go with him, Byron. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Beautiful <laughs> technique. <laughs> oh, oh, it's <laughs> over. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Kick to the oh, incredible combo. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 rank. Momentum clearly in his corner. How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish it! It's about as bad as it gets for him. I'm not sure he has much left.
German suplex. That's called establishing dominance. Here's his moment, Michael. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Many times in a Fatal 4-Way match, we've seen superstars join... Yeah. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And he kicks out. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Byron, you made an excellent point a few moments ago. There have been many times throughout history where superstars have joined forces in a fatal four-way match in hopes of eliminating by pinning or incapacitating that dominant force. Sometimes interesting alliances are formed. We saw that at the... Uh-oh. Ratting down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! Game, set, match. This one is A over. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Masuka Sakamoto. What a thrilling fatal four-way match that was, guys. You know you're for real when you can outlast three of the baddest dudes on the WWE roster. Another amazing match in the long and storied history of Survivor Series.